sorry i forgot to record the session once again once again everyone Yeah, everyone, let it be. Uh, note it down, everyone. Note it down. In the enterprise structure, in the enterprise structure, business area, business area, and functional area, and functional area. System will treat, system will treat master data, okay, functional area and business area, system will treat as a, it is these two things as a master data, okay. So if you create master data, there is no TR will going to generate. That's a good point, actually. Okay, in the enterprise structure. Uh, so, master data, it's uh, you know, uh, depends upon even business area, functional area. Actually, these two things at client level. Note it on this point also business area and functional area, these two things at client level. Business area and functional area these two objectives at client level client level so what is meant by client why client what is the use of client it will come later everyone yeah, so we completed uh, we completed defined comp Company and company code uh, functional area. Let's create business area. So, <clears throat> everyone, what is meant by business area? Business area, boleto. Last time I explained, I showed uh, non. I mean, like in the general terminology, SAP terminology. In the general terminology, what we call generally business area, boleto. Anyone? Branches. Branch areas. Huh? Branch yes, similar to branches, similar to branches. Everyone, <clears throat> now concentrate here. Everyone, All right. uh, one second, guys. You people joining late, my dear friends, it's not good actually. Everyone, everyone are able to hear my voice, are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yeah, everyone concentrate here. Now, now I want to create. See, some, some expert treat, some expert saying, everyone concentrate here, some expert, SAP expert saying, business area nothing but uh, branches like business area mainly we will create for the reporting purpose okay reporting purpose example i want uh, specific hyderabad reports mumbai reports like uh, bangalore reports pune reports to be treated as a one in my scenario in my scenario i want to create example uh, PM Hyderabad business area, Hyderabad business area, then PM uh, Bengaluru business area, Bengaluru business area, and uh, example uh, PM Pune business area, Pune business area, then uh, PM 
Mumbai business area. Mumbai business area. Okay. So I need to create these business areas. So how you can create? So business area, nothing but some people give the definition. Business area, nothing but branches. Hyderabad branch, Bengaluru branch, Pune branch, Mumbai branch. So this can be help for the reporting, reporting purpose. Okay. So how to create this? How to create in the SAP? Very simple, everyone. Very simple, actually. Very, very simple. Okay. So let's go to, now I'm going, this is called SAP Easy Access Screen. So we are called as a SAP Home Screen. So go to, can anyone tell me the path for the enterprise structure? Go to anyone, please. SPR. 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 Enterprise structure. SAP reference IMG. SAP reference IMG. Yes, please. Enterprise structure. One second. Enterprise structure. Definition. Finance account. Definition. Finance account. Financial account. And here, um, very good. Guys, this is the path, everyone. In the Yesterday, we discussed define company and define edit, copy, delete company code. Then uh, functional area. Now we are discussing business area. Now we are discussing business area. Everyone, concentrated everyone. So in case, if you want to understand more information, what is mean by business area? Why business area? What is the purpose of business area? Just go through this document, everyone. So this is the document. You can give some more information. What is mean by this? Why? What is the... Go on mute, my dear students. Listen the class. Everyone, concentrate here. In case uh, whenever you have the time, then just go through this, uh, uh, you know data why when what what is the purpose and all now my target is how to create the business area how to create the business area very simple my dear students you just double click on this execute button just double click on this execute button and click on your new entry click on your new entry Set up here any four digit and write the description. Set up here any four digit and uh, write the description. Example, it may any four up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Example, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Uh, I am set up here PMHB. So this PMHB is a not a standard. You can set up any. You can set up any any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Alpha numerical up to four. And here you can write the description. Example, PM Hyderabad business area. Then one more PM uh, uh, like B B B PM Bengaluru business area. The next one, PM uh, MB, PM Mumbai, Mumbai business area. Then PM, uh, one more thing is called PM, again PM. What is that? PM PB, let it be, PB. What is that? PM Pune business area. So like this, you can create N number of business areas, N number of business areas. So guys, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. For example, now, now you people want to understand, now you people want to understand what is mean by, I mean, what is mean by that and how to create? What is mean by that and how to create? Later, I will explain you how these parameters will use during the accounting entry postings. So based on these parameters, parameters means business area, profit center, whatever. 
and uh, so based on these objectives or parameters and how to generate the reports so everything won't cover one day okay everything won't cover one day this is the one big process so now you people want to understand what is mean by that how to create that then this thing how to applicable how to apply during the document entry posting or counting entry posting based on this objective how to generate the reports it just will come later not required now so like this how to create the business area come to specific part enter here any four digit and write the description press enter and save press enter and save okay the next one next one everyone <coughs> next one consolidation business area consolidation business area what is meant by consolidation business area what is the difference between uh, business area and consolidation business area everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here i will tell you one point everyone concentrate here i created four business areas everyone i created four business areas one is hyderabad business area bengaluru business area pune business area and mumbai business area these two things example these two things everyone concentrate here assigned these two things i will assign example i am telling these two things i will assign example uh, example pm south india south india consolidation business area and these two things example these two things these two things i will going to assign or map i will going to assign or map example these two things i will map uh, pm example pm north india north india consolidation business area north india consolidation business area so sir wh what purpose you are uh, creating this so what is the use of this what is the use of this everyone concentrate here everyone i will i will show you the reports later i will show you reports later but try to understand try to understand if i go to hyderabad business area everyone concentrate here if i go to hyderabad business area then i will get only hyderabad related information if i go to bengaluru business area i will get only bengaluru information bengaluru business area related information if i go to if i go to south indian consolidation business area example if i go to south indian consolidation business area then i will get both information both information i will get so what is the use of this why why you are creating consolidation business area consolidation business area we are going to create for high level reporting purpose in the later i will show you how to generate high level reports and all why consolidation business area it's high level reporting purpose same way here also if you go to pune business area i will get only pune related information later we will post accounting entries then we will generate the reports if i go to mumbai business area then i will get only mumbai related information if i go to pm north indian consolidation business area then i will get both information i will get both information so now first we created business area then later we want to create consolidation business area then later we want to map next step will come assignments will come we need to map these two things will south india these two things will north india we need to map first you can understand how to create later you can understand how to map 
later you can understand how to apply during the accounting entry posting later you can understand reports everything won't cover one day everything won't cover one day first you try to understand what is meaning that how to create that how to map that so everyone my dear students this consolidation business area we can use for the high level reporting purpose high level reporting purpose okay <clears throat> everyone concentrate here so what is the path same path everyone same path uh enterprise structure definition financial accounting here here maintain consolidation business area maintain consolidation business area okay so you just double click on this execute button guys in case if you want to understand more what is mean by consolidation business area just go through this document okay this document will give more information and you just double click on this execute button double click click on this execute button click on your new entry set up here any four digit and write the description okay so what is the four digit up to four digit example uh, p yes c b okay then pm south india consolidation business area then p n c b pm example north india india consolidation business area guys don't write anything during the explanation I already provided practice material, not required to write anything. I will tell you what you want to write. Just listen. If you go to movie, we don't write anything, but we can remember everything. Why? We can concentrate there on the movie. Same way here also, please concentrate. That's it. I already provide practice material. You can do the practice with seeing the practice material. So set up here any four digit and press enter. Then save. Press enter and save. The next one. Next one. FM area. Maintain FM area. Note it down, everyone. Note it down. Put the heading of note it down. Note it down one note. Note it down one note, everyone. FM area. FM area. FM area monitoring. FM area full form. First, you can note it down. FM area means funds management or financial management. FM area full form is called funds management or financial management. FM area. I am discussing FM area. Guys, in case of any doubts, please note it down aside. I can give you time to ask. Okay. Now I am discussing maintain FM area. Maintain FM area. FM area full form is called funds management or financial management. Funds management or financial management. Next line, note it down for one line for your understanding. It is deal with the, it is deal with the cash flow activities. It is deal with the cash flow activities. Cash flow activities. cash flow activities do one thing everyone you just double click on this document here also you can write one point actually uh, 
do one thing you can write this point everyone you can write this point first one the financial management area is the organizational unit within the accounting which structure the business organization area one second one second if you write you people can't be one second uh, better you can write this one uh, you can write you can write both points otherwise instead of this you can write these two points everyone no no confusion you can write these two points the financial management area is the organizational unit within the accounting we structured the business organization from separate cash budgeting management and funds management why because it is a deal with the cash flow activities flow activities is deal with the cash flow activities okay the next line is you define the functional characteristics as a fm area separately for both cash budgeting management and funds management in the implementation guide each those the areas let it be i will show you now i will show you how to create fm area then later we can explain how to generate the cash flow activities and all basically cash flow activities uh, let it be first you try to understand how to create that if i tell that point then you people going to confuse then everyone noted Then noted everyone, noted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone, you can keep it on your mind. You can keep it on your mind. FM area, it's deal with the cash flow activities. Cash flow activities. In the accounting terminology, we are going to generate cash flow reports, funds flow reports. You will generate now so for that purpose it will going to help for that activities it will going to, to monitor so first you can try to understand what is mean by that then how to create the fm area very simple everyone how to create fm area very simple <clears throat> you just double click on this execute button this one you just double click on this execute button then click on your new entry click on your new entry then set up here any four digit and write the description then apply the currency which type of currency activities it want to follow example i am set up here set up here any four digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets example pm fm PM, PM, FM area, area, and uh, currency INR. Press enter, press enter, then save. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. Okay, like this. Very simple, everyone. I'm repeating once again. Concentrate here, everyone. I am repeating once again. You just double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Set up here any four digit. 
and write the description and specify the currencies. Specify the currencies. Okay. Then in case if you want to check, if you want to check existing one and double click on this execute button, you can check use page down button and page up button. Page down, which one yours? This one I created. PMFM, PMFM area, follow the INR currency. Monitoring the INR currency, okay? And click on your save on back. <clears throat> the next one, guys, what is the segments I suggested during the enterprise structure things? What is the segments I suggested everyone? You noted now on Excel, we shown one pro forma. Anyone unmute and speak? Departments. Ah, no, no, no. Segments, segments. Segments you noted, ma'am, actually. Like product segments, like. Uh, oh, PM, OPC, current cement segments. Ah, basically, PPC our segment. company is called, I have two companies, right? One is uh, PM Steels Private Limited. Private Limited. And uh, PM Cement Limited, actually. Cement Limited. We created this two company codes under this we created uh, i suggested segments what is that you noted actually everyone you are already noted pm opc cement segment pp cement segment. ah very good very steel good, very good. sheet segment ah very good madam very good Appreciate steel it. rod segment yeah example uh, pm opp cement segment and uh, PM PPP cement segment. Cement segment. Then here also uh, PM uh, steel sheet segment. And uh, here PM steel rod segment. Steel rod segment. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. For example, I will tell you one thing, everyone. I will tell you one thing. Example, I will tell you. You are the you are the Wipro employee. Example, you are the, example. I am telling you. You are the Wipro employee as a consultant. As a consultant, you are implementing PM group of company. PM group of company. So who is this PM group of company? PM group of companies, your client. PM group of companies, your client. So first, you need to understand your client business process. For example, everyone, for example, I will tell you one thing. My client is, my client is electronical manufacturer company. Electronical manufacturer company. Then one area they will manufacture mobiles in one area they will manufacture laptops so what we will do one is mobile manufacturing segment one is laptop manufacturing segment so you can divide that you can ask your client the details they will tell you for example everyone for example my companies, my companies, uh, oil refinery, oil, oil related company. Example, Reliance Oil. It's like a oil related company. So what we will do? What we will do? One is diesel purifier segment, petrol purifier segment, cooking oil purifier segment. Then we will make as a three segments. We will make as a three segments. So, like based on the business strategies, based on the business, you need to create the segment. For example, for example, I have a Steels Private Limited, PM Steels Private Limited. So, this PM Steels Private Limited, I di divided two things. One is PM Steel Sheet, Steel Sheet segment. One is TM, uh, PM Steel Rod segment. Okay, same way here also. PM OPP cement segment, PM 
PPP cement segment. We are, uh, I mean, we are segregated like that. We are segregated like that. Okay, so this is the one. Maybe you got my point. Say yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good, very good. Very good, everyone. Let it be. Let's create that. Let's create that. Same path, everyone. Same path. Like uh, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting new, then financial accounting, sorry, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, defined segment. Defined segment. So you just uh, double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Then set up here any four digit and write the description. That's it. Example, uh, example PM. Uh, PM, what need to do? Example, steel sheet segment. PM, steel sheet segment. And PM, uh, RS. PM, steel rod segment then pm o os os pm opp cement segment segment then pm ps pm ppp cement segment PPP cement segment. Everyone, concentrate here. Everyone. Sir, you want to ask one thing. Sir, this four digit is the standard? No, it is not a standard. You can set up any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Alpha numerical up to four for the identification of your segment. For the identification of your respective segment. Very simple. So here you can set up any four digit and write the description. Press enter, press enter, enter button in the keyboard, enter, then save. Enter and save. Then go back, one step back. The next one. So everyone, we successfully completed, define company and company code, business area, Functional area, consolidation business area, then FM area, then segment. Now we want to discuss define credit control area. Very important, everyone. Credit control area is very important. Everyone, in case any doubts, please note it down aside. I will give you time to ask the questions. First, listen what I am explaining. Okay. Then later you can ask me the question. Please note it down aside. Please wait. Okay. Everyone, this one, everyone, define credit control area. What is meant by credit control area? Credit plus control. Can anyone define this? Leave the SAP. Leave the SAP. Simply give me definition. Credit plus control. Leave the SAP. Give definition. What is the meaning of this? Credit control. Credit plus control. Anyone, please? Any expert in English? Anyone? Tell me, Sridhar. No, no, no. So it's basically, you see, controlling sir. your uh, risk with the, the amount that you are giving. Sir, normally, sales are two types, sir, in our organization, either cash sales mm -hmm. or credit sales. We control mm -hmm. the credit sales. We, very good answer. We control the credit sales. Any others? You see, it is keeping, uh, it is basically keeping a uh, control on the amount that you are willing to give on a credit to the, your, uh, your customers, basically. Customers, customers. Very good, sir. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, uh, anyone, any other definitions can you give? Credit control. 
So the company can give the credits to the customers only for those who have a good credit score. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we are monitoring the credit limits. Uh, who is this uh, Chandana Nayak? Who is he? Control nothing but customer library. Oh, very good, very good. Uh, thank you, Anton. Somebody joined as a Chandana Nayak. Who is he? He's not, we did not say, no? Let it be removed from our place. Guys, don't share our link to anyone now, okay? You people join, but don't. Everyone. So, same thing, everyone. Same thing. Everyone. Concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. I will tell you, everyone. I will tell you. I will tell you, everyone. My way, I will tell you. Concentrate here. Concentrate here, my dear students. Go on mute now. A very good response, everyone. Appreciate for your replies. Uh, everyone is good. Everyone. For example, I said, I said, I said, you are the Wipro employee. You are the Wipro employee as a consultant or Delight employee as a consultant. And you are implementing, you are implementing then PM group of company. So what it is, what it is, it is your client. It is your client. It is your client actually. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. In the credit control area, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. In the credit control area, PM credit control area, everyone. Here, under PM credit control area, I maintain 5,000. I maintain 5,000. Example. Here I maintain 5,000. I have three customers. I have three customers. One is Ramu and Co. One is Ramu and Co. Then one is Somu and Co. And one is Suresh and Co. I have three customers. Everyone, concentrate here. What is my credit limit? What is my credit limit? Credit limit is 5,000. Example, example, my credit limit is 5,000. And uh, I gave, I gave Ram and Co. I given two thousand rupees credit sales. Then uh, Somu and Co. Somu and Co. I given two thousand rupees. So two thousand plus two thousand. How much we completed? Four thousand is done. How much? Uh, I mean. How much you are available? How much you want to use? 1,000. 1,000. In case everyone, for example, in case everyone, I in case I am trying to give credit sales to 1,500 to Suresh and Co. 1,500 to Suresh and Co. Then system won't allow. If I try to give the credit sales to 1,500 to Suresh and Co. System won't allow. Why? Because... 2000, 2000, 4000, 4000, and 1500. 5500 it's coming. But my limit is 5000 only. My limit is 5000 only. But I am unable to give the more than 1000 rupees. I am unable to give more than 1000 rupees of credit sales. Everyone, I can give you one more best example, everyone. One more best example. Uh, <clears throat> Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. I can give you one more best example. You Maybe you people use the credit card. You people use the credit card. The banker will give one limit. Banker will give one limit. So you can use that credit card up to that limit. Up to that limit. You are unable to use more than that limit. Same way here also. For the credit controls, we can set up one limit. And up to this limit, you can use for the, all the customer credit sales. All the customer credit sales. It can be controlled. Credit control area can be controlled by the credit sales of the customers. 
credit sales of the customer. Then you people want to ask one question actually here. Sir, who will this give this limit? Who will give this limit? Everyone, your client will be give this limit. Who is your client? PM group of company will confirm you. They will give the limit. You can ask, what is the maximum limit of your company for the credit control? They will confirm you that value. So that value you need to configure. That value you need to configure actually. So it can be company code level actually. As a finance team, we maintain company code level. Customer level, SD people will do that. Okay. Maybe you got my point. Let it be in case of any doubts, I can give you time to ask the terms. Everyone, so now my target is how to create credit control area. In case if you want to understand more, you just double click on this execute button and you can go through this, okay? You can go through this, then uh, it can be explained, okay? Better you can read this point, everyone. You can read this point. Otherwise, note it down this point, everyone. Note it down this point. The credit control area is the organizational, you know, that specify and check credit limit of the customers. It is can be specified, specifies and checks for the credit limit of the country. We can control the customer credit sales. That is our objective actually. When you control the uh, customer credit sales, that is our target. So who will provide this value? Who will this provide that limit? Your client will be confirmed. Don't take your own decision, okay? Your client will be confirmed. So whatever client confirm, that value can maintain here. Done, everyone. Done, sir. So, everyone, now my target is how to create credit control area. How to create credit control area. Okay. So, you just double click on this execute button. You just double click on this execute button. Define credit control area. Define credit control area and click on your new entry and uh, set up here any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Example, uh, four digit is uh, uh, PCCA, PM credit control area. Then currency, INR. Then here, everyone here, credit limit credit limit here you need to maintain the credit limit okay so i am taking one big number actually i am taking one big number during the practice so when this limit want to update during the customer sale billing time so here you can take the standard one here you need to select the standard at the time of billing double zero double zero one two here this is the standard action when this value need to update open order value at the time of exist delivery and billing document value it can be controlled this this is the standard action press enter and save so here you can set up here any four digit then currency this is the limit example here it can be maintained five thousand as per our excel just now I explain that limit you need to maintain. But not 5,000, you can take any big amount. When it want to update, this is the standard. You can take here 000012. 
at the time of billing, billing, customer billing. Enter and save. Yes. Then one step back, one step back. Here you can write the description text. PM credit control area. area. Press enter and save. Guys, so, so this is the enterprise structure creation. The next step is mapping. Okay. Next step is mapping. What is meant by mapping? Before going to mapping, anyone, any doubts you can ask now? Now time to ask the doubts, please. Yes, one by sir, one. Sir, you are saying the credit control area. Is it uh, for uh, reason-wise based or uh, how sir, it is applicable? Ah. Good question, everyone. Uh, good question, ma'am. Actually, here we maintain at company code level. So this credit control area, next step is assignment. This control area, we are assigning to the company code. Next, that is the step only. But reason-wise, customer-wise, the SD people can maintain. But that is not uh, our FIC consultant. Okay, so can, we, can we reset the amount? I mean, yeah, later in case, if you want to change, you can change. Yes, sir, you this Maybe you got my point, ma'am. Yes, one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, and one more note. Sir, here, how will you uh, link the uh, company code and uh, segments? It will come every if it will come assignment will come ma'am why hurry by okay okay okay, okay. don't be hurry by yeah next next everyone sir this uh, Ram company so more so company solution company these are vendors or what sir ha huh, this is the customers here i explain that uh, this is the customers so and co ram and co this is the customers actually this is the customers. This is our company. So this can be assigned to our company code. Okay, next one. Yeah, this is Arvind. Arvind, uh, tell me. Yeah, this credit control area, we will uh, define at client level or company code specific? It's a company code specific. Actually, this we are going to assign the company code. Next step okay. is the assignment. So this value we are going to assign the company code. Example, everyone. Example, I created uh, I created PCCA, PM Credit Control Area. Here I maintain one value. Example, 9999 value I maintain. So this value I, are, I am going to assign my company code. This value, I am this thing I can assign to my company code. PM10. What happened? This value at company code level, specific company code. Next step is the assignment. Then you will get the Hello, point. Sir. Next one. Hello, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sir, like by creation of this com credit control area, there is a checkbox at the end for all company code. Ha, so, for example, is it you... okay to... No, 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 actually. Why? Because, for example, if you select that checkbox, it can be applicable for all company codes. Okay. So but it is advised. But some, maybe if you want to check, you can check it. It can be applicable for all, that value applicable for all company codes. If you are not okay. checking, then maybe you can create one more credit control area. Different. Listen, madam. Pile listen, Kardona. Pile listen, madam, please. First, try to listen what I'm telling. <clears throat> Example, example, everyone. For example, I will tell you. I created, I created PM PCCA. So here I maintain, here I maintain one credit value. Example, double nine, double nine, 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 like that. So this I can assign to the company code. This I can assign to the company code PM one zero. PM10. So what is meant by that? 
this is the value applicable for this company code pm steels private limited under this company code whatever customers you can operate that customers values can be reflected this limit for example for example i have one more company code pm 20 even for the pm 20 also i mean client will be give same value client will be give same value for pm 20 also then this thing you can assign to the I'll, next step is the assignment this thing you can assign to the pm 20 also in case they give different value for this company code in case they give different value for this company code you can create one more credit control area how we created now you can create one more credit control area pm ccb cb whatever one more credit control area here you can maintain uh, one value example some xyz value this can be applicable for this company code this mm -hmm. company code it is same for one for both company code in case limit is different you need to create one more then you can assign okay so this limit is controlled by the pm20 customers this limit controlled by the pm10 customer in case there if you click on all company code it can be applicable for all company codes they later we are unable to specify it got it my point ma'am yes sir thank you sir thank you ma'am tell sir, me venkat uh, venkat venkat sir on which basis uh... one second madam venkat tell me venkat uh regarding the credit area only uh, could i have a doubt so that is clarified now because Clarity. somebody asked same question yeah thanks okay. uh, tell me ma'am tell me sir on which basis uh, you will fix the amount for your customers sir which basis which place sir huh? which basis sir sir uh, here you based on this listen when get go on with see basically you don't means as a consultant we don't want to decide on which basis on which amount you don't want to means as you means we are the consultants we don't want to decide on which basis how much value the client will be confirmed which limit we need to specified so that limit we need to maintain here that's it so means the client will be verified customer capabilities then the client will be decided that limit how much we need to provide the specific customer you got my point ma'am okay okay yeah <clears throat> next question sir sir it is mod modifiable modifiable sir. answer is yes okay sir good question and sir this is in the same currency as company code right sorry ma'am can you speak louder this is local currency the ah, yes. limit is set ah, ah yeah even coming classes we can create uh, translation exchange rates also we will maintain that system will automatically will going to exchange in the coming classes we will maintain currency settings there we will maintain exchange rates so it will be convert system will automatically convert so this will be applicable to each and every customer in our company code ha huh, under company code how many customers you created na it can be applicable at all customers level answer is yes yeah let it be next any other next we can go ahead with next sir, sir actually uh -huh. we we created in hyderabad uh, hyderabad branch hmm. company hmm. us based company also one, one here we have two companies you can create if you want then there you need to uh, okay then uh, same us company us company also same credit limit uh -huh. what is the cha change you want that see which limit you want to maintain you can ask your client in case it is okay. same same thing you can going to assign in case it is different then one more credit control area you can create and assign uh, what i am saying uh, us company also same limit are uh, uh, separately there is no separation that's what i am asking that's what i am saying 
If the client is confirmed, it is same, then you need to maintain the same. It is different, then you need to maintain different credit control area with the different currencies, then you need to assign. Okay, Based so on the you. client confirmation, we want to create. Okay. The next one, let it be. First, let's complete the mapping. We can discuss it. Uh, can you please note it down? Can you please note it down these steps, everyone? Done, noted. Yes. One second. Noted everyone. Some more, uh, for example, now this assignments is required. Some more assignments will come later, everyone. Done, noted. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, let it be. Let it be, everyone. So go to SPRO, enter. SAP reference IMG and uh, everyone select your enterprise structure then uh, everyone concentrate here if you want to create everyone concentrate here concentrate here don't write anything listen first listen if you want to create enterprise structure then you want to go definition if you want to map, if you want to map, enterprise structure map means assignment. Assignment means link between one or more objectives. Link between one or more objectives. Okay, everyone, let it be. So go to assignments, financial accounting new, sorry, financial accounting, this one, everyone. Assign company code to company. Then assign company code to credit control area. Then assign business area to consolidation business area. Then assign company code to financial management area. Can you uh, note it down one note, everyone? Can you please note it down one note? Note it on one note. In the SAP F5, in the SAP F5, in the SAP F5,
and SAP F5. All the objectives, all the objectives all the objectives directly or indirectly directly or indirectly we are assigned to company code assignment means mapping mapping to company code or assigned to company code Assign to company code. Next line, note it down. Put the star and note it down. Put the star and note it down. Business area. Business area. We are unable to assign we are unable to assign to company code. We are unable to assign the company code. Why? Because business area at client level. business area at client level. But, but during the accounting entry postings, during the accounting entry postings, We specified business area. We specified a business area. For your understanding, but can anyone please read the note? Remaining people, please check it out. Anyone read the note? In the S in the SAP FI, all objectives directly or indirectly we are using to company code business no, area. No, we no. are madam, madam. Please note it down properly, madam. Anyone we please are, read. We are assigned. We are assigned to company code. We are assigned to company code, not using the all the objectives directly or indirectly. We are assigned to company code or mapping. Map yes, to yes. company code or link to company code, anything. Please yes, note it down properly, madam. Maybe otherwise you people are going to confuse. Okay, okay, sir. Fund. Go ahead, madam. Business area, we are unable to uh, assign to company code. Why? Because business area at uh, client level, but during the account, uh, accounting entry posting, we specified business area. Okay. So at the time of accounting entry posting, I will show you how to specify the business area. But business area not required to assign the company code. It is on a client level. So now you try to understand these four things. How to assign, assign company to company code. Then assign company code to credit control area. Assign business area to consolidation business area. Assign company code to FM area. Let's assign this, everyone. Let's assign this. Everyone, I have a company. What is my company, everyone? What is my company? PM Group of the Company. Uh, here we noted na, something where, where we noted. Um, there it is. Let it be. So our company is PM Group of Company. What is that? We maintain up to six digits. What is that? PM Group. GOC, I believe. 
PM group of company. This is my PM group of company. Uh, PM group of group of company. And this is my company. And I have two company codes. So PM one zero and PM two zero. This is called PM Steels Private Limited, and this is called PM Cement Limited. Mm -hmm. I, I believe. So I want to assign. I want to assign my company to my company code. Then I want to assign my company to company code. Sir, why you want to assign? <laughs> so this question also you want to ask. Sir, why you want to assign? What purpose you want to assign? I will tell you. Then go on mute. Hare Krishna. Go on mute. Please, please go on mute. Don't disturb the class. I can give you time. For your questions, I can give you time. First, listen my questions. Please don't disturb to others, my dear friends. Please. If you have any other words, please join tomorrow. Please. <clears throat> Everyone, why we want to assign the company and company code means? In the system, in every system, maybe in the system, maybe we will create a lot of companies and a lot of company codes. A lot of companies and a lot of company codes in the system. Example, in my system, I have different, different companies and different, different company codes. System want to understand, everyone. System want to understand this company codes belongs to which company? This company codes is belongs to which company? Based on your assignment or based on your mapping. Based on your assignment or based on your mapping, system will understand, okay, this company code is belongs to this group of company. Like that system will going to understand. Okay. So anyway, how to map that? How to map? Very simple, everyone. Very simple. Come to this path, everyone. I'm repeating once again. Come to this path. What is the path? Go to SPRO. Enter. SAP reference IMG. Select your uh, enterprise structure. Then assignment. Then financial accounting, the first one, assign company code to company. So you just double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Then in the position, click on your position. Give it here your company code. What is your company code? PM10. So this is my company code. And here you need to assign your company. What is my company? PM GOC. GOC. Sir, I am unable to remember what is four or five digit you maintain. I am unable to remember. What can I do? So here, there is one button here. This one, everyone. This one. Click on this. Click on this. It's called otherwise press F4. All the companies will come. So you want to select. You want to select. This company code belongs to which group of company or company? So which company use page down button in the keyboard? Page down. Uh, PM something we created actually. PM GOC something. Page up. Uh, here. PM GOC. PM group of company. Double click on this. This will come. No, sir, I'm remembering this PM GOC. I'm remembering. If it is remember directly, you can enter. Directly, you can enter here. PM GOC. So these two company quotes belongs to this company. So press enter, press enter, then save. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. Then one more, one more. Assign company code to credit control area. Assign company code to credit control area. Example, example, everyone, where it's credit control area. Ah. Example, my client is confirmed. My client is confirmed. 
this value I can maintain for these two company codes. This is the value I can follow two company codes. So this is my credit control area. On this, I maintain this value. Some double nine, double nine, something I maintain. Double nine, double nine, double nine. So this is the val same value for PM10, then same value for PM20. In case value is different, different value for different company code, then you need to create one more credit control area then you need to assign differently. Different one, different one. Okay. So in, in everyone, next one. Assign company code to credit control area. So you just to double click on this execute, same path, same path. You just double click on this execute button and click on your position. Company code PM10. So this is my company code. Here you want to assign your credit control area. What is your credit control area? P something now. Anyone? Please it's respond. PCCA, sir. PCCA. Example, sir. I am unable to remember this PCCA. What can I do? Click on here. This one. Click on this button. Which button? This button. Browse. Click on your browse. Then oh, a lot of all the credit control areas will come. So this company code uh, belongs to which credit control area? You can assign specific one, whichever you want. That one you can assign. Mm, PM something PM. PCCA. Uh, PCCA, sorry, PCCA. Same value for different company code, you can assign. No, in case you created one more credit control area for this company code. So that one you can assign. Click on your browse, whatever, credit control area you want, you can assign. Okay, example, same thing I can assign for both. In case if it is different, you can assign different. If it is same, you can assign same, whatever you want. Then save. The next one, next one. Guys, in case of any doubts, please note it down aside. I can give you time. Assign business area to consolidation business area. Assign business area to consolidation business area. So what is my business areas? Uh, what is my business areas? Where is that? Where I something I explained? Uh, here. So my business area is PM Hyderabad business area, PM Bengaluru business area. These two things comes under South Indian consolidation business area. And the Pune business area and Mumbai business area. These two things comes under North India one. So I need to assign this map, assign or map. Assign, map, link, both are same meaning section. Okay, these things you need to. And this one. Double click on this. And click on your position. Your business area, PM, HB, I believe. Otherwise, you can use page down button, page down and page up. Here, click on your position, enter here your business area. Sir, I am unable to remember. What can I do? You can use page up and page down. Page up and page down, all will come. Okay. You can enter and this enter. So, this is my business areas. Everyone, concentrate here. For example, Bengaluru business area comes under which consolidation? Anyone respond? South, sir. South, South, PM, PM, South, PM, South India. Then Hyderabad also comes under South. Then uh, Mumbai, Mumbai is comes under North. Click on what is the four digit? E something you mentioned P and something P and C B not and Pune also not actually so these two things is a not and these two things is south for mapping system want to understand actually why we are ma and mapping means system want to understand okay then system will understand okay these two things comes under South Indian and these two things comes under north like that uh, they will understand okay and click on your save and back
then one more assign company code to financial management area so you just double click on this and click on your position company code uh, pm10 this is your company code then here you want to assign your fm area what is that my fm area anyone what is the four digit pm something we maintain not remember huh? anyone so click on your browse Uh, we maintain PM something. You space down button in the keyboard. PM, where is that? Ah, PM FM, PM FM area, this thing. Press enter and save. Okay. So come profit center, that will come later, not quite now. Yeah, now time to ask the questions, everyone. Uh, what if there is no business consolidation area? <laughs> uh, already, I already explained, uh, sir, business consolidation business area. No, no, I understood. But uh, you see, suppose if my company doesn't require any consolidation kind it's of... It's optional. Area. If you're not required, then not create. It's optional, okay. actually. Okay, then at business area level, I will get a report, not yes. at a consolidation level. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Good understanding, sir. Next. Yeah. Yes, everyone. So everyone, so I'm I'm sincerely requesting everyone must arrange your server access and let's take the printout of practice material, whatever we provided, make it as a viral binding, start your practice, okay? So this is the enterprise structure. You can practice. And in case of any doubts, you can ping in the group, WhatsApp group, so other people can respond. Then anyone not respond, then I can respond. OK? And Prahalada joined. Huh? Prahalada, are you there? Prahalada, my dear friend. Oh, yes, are you following? Oh, I'm done, sir. So tomorrow, yes, I'm on, in case any, please join on time, OK? Okay, okay. Yeah. Arvind, Arvind, are you there? Yes, yes, I am there, sir. Are you writing note, note, Arvind? Yeah, yeah, I am making a note of it. You are writing, right? Yes, yes. I can ask tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Sir, my, uh, uh, yeah, hi, sir. So my uh, doubt uh, is, uh, ki, uh, can we, uh, can we assign a business area to uh, you know, more to more than one consolidated business area. No, answer is no. One business area you can assign one consolidation business area. Okay. Thank you. Sir, I have a question. <laughs> yeah, can I change my description of my company co company co company name and uh, another? I already explained uh, how to edit company code. Oh, and after the changing that i can see that what was the earlier <laughs> so company code maybe no but master data it will yes display changes in the master data and transactional data yes but configuration we what are running to descriptions see. of company name and where we write the company see, name see if you already edit uh, configuration level we are unable to see display changes in the master data level, transactional level, we can see. Okay. Yeah. But there is no log for that. Yes, yes. But master data is there. Even transactional data is there. But configuration answer is no. Oh. Yeah. That means we can't, we can't see the earlier address if I change my company during the filling of form of company words. Yeah, yeah. Company address. We can't see the earlier address, earlier contact number. Answer is yes. Yeah. Next question. Everyone, uh, one more suggestion. If it is, everyone must try to join in the laptops or desktop. Avoid joining the 
class on mobiles. Okay. So if you join in the laptops, you can see very big screen laptops and uh, desktops. Okay. Avoid that. Then, uh, and one more, some people still pending in the payment. So please do your make payments. Okay. You can coordinate with Lakshman ma'am. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye everyone. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you.